obviously we have our cable that we're going to need. And I'm going to slide this back a second. All right. So we're also going to need a cutting tool. All right. For cable cutters. So we have cable cutters. We have a crimper. Cable goes up. Cable goes down. You need that. Um, a hammer for ammo for our crimper and then we have a terminal a lug that we're going to need for the end and a piece of heat shrink for the end all right so let's clear space for a second and let's try to take a piece of the the rubber off and expose the copper to a certain amount so what i like to do is i like to hold this to about right here okay I just want to, I'm going to dig into it, you just want to take the rubber piece off. Okay, once you get the rubber piece off, I'm going to turn it. Okay, from there, insert the, uh, the lug. Oop, and sometimes it does that, so. Got to... Move it a certain way. All right, that feels like it went in good. It felt like it, like a glove. And from here, so you want to put your piece of heat shrink in through. Probably should have did that first, but it's okay. I don't like to be cheap with the heat shrink. Just use. A good amount so to cover this and a little bit past it then from here I don't know if you can see this you want to get this this piece up requires some wrist strength here especially with one hand and then you want to rest that into it down push in you need the ground because you don't want to try to do that with your hand right there. So, all right, so you have it there. It's a nice little smack. Watch your hands. One, two, three, five, three. All right. So, now what we're going to do, put your heat shrink over it. Uh, one tool I forgot to introduce. Oop. Is our heat gun. So this should help us make this go a little bit faster. It does take a little bit to get this on, but... That feels pretty good. And I prefer black. All I have is the white right now for this demonstration. All right. So from here, 
just to make sure you actually have a connection. You definitely do, but it doesn't hurt to meter it out a second so you put on ohms. And it doesn't matter. Put it wherever you want here, as long as it beeps, right? All right, so you got a clear pass, that's good. And that's how you install a lug terminal on a heavy duty cable. Thanks for watching. See you next time.